Traders, welcome back to another Relentless Recap. Guys, as you're tuning in, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're a new viewer, consider subscribing to the channel as you watch throughout the video. The tradition lives on. Wearing red and ending green. Ladies and gentlemen, Relentless Traders getting it done once again. Today, stock BMR was the one. Every day starts off with us trying to determine which stock is going to be the leading stock, the strongest stock of the day. And when we say the one, that's what we're talking about. So each day starts the same. Momo Pro, Momo Pro. If we come on down to the discovery section, this is where I get all my watch list stocks each and every single day. Uh, so shout out to Momo Pro. You guys know they are a sponsor of mine as well. If you're interested in using this platform, you can use code RELENTLESS for 25% off for six months. The gap scan on, on Momo Pro gets me exactly what I need for my watch list stocks. WLDS, BMR, and so forth and so forth in percentage order down the list. All right. So shout out to Momo Pro. And uh, yeah, you know, each day starts the same trading. You know, day trading made simple to some degree in terms of finding stocks to trade, waking up and there being a scanner that's reliable, right? So BMR starts off from a low of 274, pushes up nicely to a high of 639. For those of you here early trading pre-market, this in itself is a beautiful move. We do get a three bar play in there. All right, guys, quick pause in the recap here to talk about the MMU manifesting my future challenge. Today is the last day for submissions. So if you want to enter uh, in the competition and get a chance of winning a free membership, be sure to follow these rules here. Uh, subscribe to my channel, Marcelo's channel, join the discord, and of course, submit a five minute video talking about why you want to be chosen and selected as the winner. All right, talk about your journey talk about your goals your dreams and title the video mmu manifesting my future hashtag challenge on youtube right upload it publish it or send it to us via private link and you'll be entered into the giveaway we're giving away two free memberships uh so good luck all right besides that code manifest for anyone else uh who is looking to get involved but doesn't care to do the video code manifest will expire at the end of the month on wednesday right the 31st so uh, see you guys there and good luck. So when we talk about our patterns that were here, there are two strong patterns that were here. One, the ABCD here on the one minute, right? Higher lows, we curl up the W and then we had the wedge into the open. So I missed the ABCD. You guys know I'm not really aggressive pre-market. Although I did recognize if you guys go back and listen to that, that you know pre-market analysis i did mention that there's a chance this thing starts to curl before the open and so we did go from a low of five right 493 rather 493 all the way up to 617 before we even got into the open so if you're watching at this with a tight stop against the previous lows as it comes down this thing does so much justice curling up before we even get into the open now, okay, relentless. You're not trading pre-market. Skip ahead to what you did on the day. And so I came in and I'm watching the midpoint area. There are a few, there's a few entries, right? And we teach this extensively in MMU, right? In the day trading course here that I offer. We talk about if you miss the first entry here for the double bottom, the second entry that's coming up is the pivot entry. Now, we can't reverse time and go back here. And in fact, this didn't continue here. But moving forward over here, right, if we connect the dots, moving forward, can we see strength in this area for a long for a continuation through the highs? That's what we're looking for here. And that's exactly what we got. So this was beautiful. Lovely. Let me make sure I don't X out my OBS. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So let's pull it up you know, into the open. And I'm going to show you guys the trade that I, uh, I, I missed. I believe I missed the trade in there because I tried to adjust my share size. I'm not executing through DAS. Marcelo ex executes through DAS instead of thinkorswim, which does allow for um, more intuitive hotkeys, right? I do have hotkeys at DAS. 
uh, but they're not really set up to buy market and or with different share size attached to them. They're mostly offset orders to buy the bids, all right, on a big spread stock. So let's watch the middle of the screen here. In fact, we might need to go back a little bit. We need to go back just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So we're coming up to the pivot. High, high right now is at 670, no, 640. 640, low 580. 630 is the pivot area. So I'm going to start watching at this and notice that I only have 500 shares in my order entry window. And I did that because the first minute of the day is a lot of the times unpredictable, very risky. So I didn't want to put too much share size out there. It breaks over 39. It breaks over, uh, excuse me, 30. It breaks over 30. Initially, it came up here to 40. It dropped back down to six. So I'm not super aggressive to buy early at 28, 29 for the break of 30. And I'm in 39, out over 55. I got a good fill coming out with a small size. So here's some green, but it's, you're seeing a lot of selling also, a little bit of red coming through on the table. Okay, there you go, 32, not quite, 35, but here we go. I'm in, it pushes 60, I'm out on in the spreads there. Right here, I changed my share size, so I don't buy back once it dips down 44. And I missed out, I think, at least 25 cents right there. Minimum 25 cents. It's holding over seven. And is this an aggressive trade? Is this an aggressive trade? Yes, it is. And you know what? It's the same trade I took yesterday when I took that thousand dollar loss. It's the same trade I took today when I almost took a similar type of loss, but luckily got out for just a 10 cent loss. So what am I doing here? The stock is pulling away and we had the break of seven. But around the break of seven, notice how once we break over the level here in level two, there's seven. Oh, look at the bids. It drops to 95 quickly, but then it slingshots right back up above seven very fast. Then there's seven. 95, right back above seven again. This is telling me that a lot of people are not really taking profits just yet. They're still holding to see how far the stock wants to go. Because remember, we're moving at the speed of light. If people decide that they're going to take profits, we should already see red. We should already be back at 680. So I'm, I'm like, okay, I, I'm, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to jump in and I'm jumping in. Very aggressive entry, very aggressive entry because this sequence started all the way down here at 490. 630, another area to watch. And then now I'm still buying it at, at seven. So it's very extended here and it pushes up again. You know, I'm in. There's a nice 30 cent trade. Beautiful. And I'm going to play the pullback perfectly here. Usually, if, if, if you're going to be very aggressive, you might buy here. You can get caught. I realized, no, the stock is very extended from where we just were. It needs to dip again. And here, here we go. There we go. 643. But notice the spread. 643 by 682. This is not good. If I buy market, I'll be in at 82. I'll be down 20 cents instantly. So I have to wait a little bit more for the spread to tighten up. You, you see how now it's now fluctuating. We have 58 for a split second. Now it's showing 77. This is an aggressive buy. 50 by 78. I said, you know what? I'm going to take it. And at this time, our five minute candle is a green body candle with a bit of a topping wick. But the candle isn't to the point where it's a full on shooting star or gravestone doji, anything like that. We still have a green body, but there is a big wick. But I'm expecting it right here to be able to bounce. So let's see the fill. Did I get a decent fill in the midpoint at least? And look at that, the ass, and it looks like I got lucky. There's a bit of red that went through and the ass drops down a little bit. So I could have been more patient to wait for this type of spread here. This is a better spread to try and buy than the one I just tried, because if I was in at 78, then, you know, oh well, because I used market order, right? So I got lucky, got a little lucky right there. But anyhow, I'm in at 66, and I'm watching for just a slingshot right back up. And can we see a, a push back over 85? There's 80 by 85 it could have been a better trade could have been a better trade 
but not bad. We'll take the couple of cents. And, he, and exactly, that's why, because we saw seven on the ask. So it pushes up another 15 plus cents. I could have, you know, held a half a second later. And, and ideally right here, to be honest, ideally from 640, I'd want to see like 710, 715 before it rests and tries to, you know, maybe dip down again. But we got to seven exactly. The lows are at 46. So right now I'm kind of, well, 42 rather, 42. So right here I'm watching to see how, if it, you know, how it wants to do. Are we going to hold here, try seven again, or are we going to dip back down? And so that's how I, I made the first thousand dollars. Just two trades, really. If my share size wasn't so small, you know, <laughs> I had 500 shares. I'm not going to be upset about that because as I mentioned, there's a lot of risk in the first minute. I didn't expect this one to be this good. So 1500 share, let's say 2,500 shares times 0.18 should have been 450 versus just 80 bucks that I made. And then when I changed my share size, I missed another 25 cents minimum. So yeah, you know, that was the stock of the day. In, in, in for me, in other news, we had WLDS, which was a great moving stock. Unfortunately, I'm red on this one. I just came a little too late to the show. Um, you know, in terms of pattern, we had a, a big U shape red to green going on, and then a beautiful flag here, uh, consolidated right below uh, the pre market highs and the 200 EMA, and did break out. We had lows of 88, 88, 89. And then, you know, the one minute candle to make the new high broke out by one cent. It comes down, but it doesn't make a new low beneath the consolidation. And eventually we do break over 98. Uh, it pushes to one, baby pullback, low of 96. And this is where it gets going. Rips to 108, then rips to 112. Uh, there might have been a halt here. Let, let's look at it on E-Trade where it's a little easier to tell. The yeah, we got halted up at 12, resumed higher, pushed up, pulls back. Another quick flag rips up to 142. By the time I came, it was over here, I think. Uh, and you can see, you know, up and down, up and down. It's kind of trending down. I I kind of didn't really have a chance. Needed to see it earlier. But all in all, it did offer a lot of opportunity. So not bad. I hope you guys did well on these stocks. And we'll be back again tomorrow, hopefully for some more momentum. So... With that being said, it's been RT. Hit that thumbs up. And I am, of course, signing out.